turn around and look at the people around you. Because in a movement, that's what people do. We are together. We are not standing as, as single people. We are all together here. There, I, don't, I don't think people have to be nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about here. I think we have to be nervous about what is happening to our system. We're having houses torn down and replaced with massive buildings to give profit to people who live in their homes and their big cars and giving their kids vacations in faraway places. I think it's important that we have a sense of community. I feel that you can, in a large city like Vancouver, a population of two million, you can feel that the person beside you that you know, if you trip and fall and break a tooth, that they'll help you get up. They might even give you a couple of bucks. I gave a couple of bucks, by the way. There's a guy walking around with a bucket. And I said, follow me. And I took him over to the bank over here. He goes, yes, I'm part of TD. They're nice people. They keep my money safe and warm. But I went and I got $20 and I put it in the bucket. Because I want to be a part of this. I want to be a part of change. Do you want to be a part of change or not? <laughs> then call your friends because guess what kids? We're living in an age of instant communication. And I have friends who are sitting home and saying, well, I'm going out tonight, I really want to be in good shape. I've been bugging them with dozens of text messages and phones on my cell phone and saying, get down here, there aren't ten people, there aren't a thousand people. According to the media, we are, at this point, 1,500 people, which is pretty good. But we can do better. Can we not? Call. Call your friends. Call your enemies. Tell them to come down here and join us. Thank you for letting me speak. I really love you all. I think it's beautiful that you brought your, your kids with you. I'm glad to see so many seniors here and young people. Thank you all.